Welcome to McNeil Tech, the wash experience. My name is Scott Ferry and I work for Budco, a distributor of McNeil Wash Systems. Today we're going to talk about maintaining and inspecting the XR1000 conveyor. When working on any equipment, understand all the hazards associated with the task. Before starting any work, lock out and tag out the equipment. Take all necessary safety precautions including personal protective gear, which includes, but is not limited to, safety glasses, gloves, and footwear. So what we're going to talk about are the visual inspections that need to be made on a regular basis, minimum of a monthly basis, on the entrance side of the XR1000 conveyor. So first of all, we have the tension cylinders and there are air lines that need to be inspected to make sure there's not cracks or breaks or that there's air leaking there. There's also the boots on the air cylinder. Now these boots will wear over time and eventually develop a leak. So it's important to listen, make sure that you're not hearing any air escaping. Um, then this is the tensioning mechanism for the conveyor and this basically just moves as a parallelogram and the movement is is taken up by these bushings right here. So these need to be inspected as well to make sure that there's not any cracks or breaks or, or wear there. And then as the chain wears, this uh, cylinder right here will slide back to this switch. And this switch, when these two made up, that means that it's time to take a link out of the chain. For the next series of inspections, we've removed the call-up mat so that we have a clear view of the components underneath. So first of all, we need to inspect the take-up drum. So the take-up drum has welds on either side of this, uh, on either side of the chain that need to be inspected. They'll start to wear over time, and when the plate itself and the drum itself and those welds start to wear, then it's time to replace the drum. Then we have the call-up forks. It's in, uh, with the call-up forks, it's, forks, it's important to inspect how they made up to the top deck of the conveyor. As the top of these forks start to wear out, they do run the risk of getting trapped underneath the top deck. So it's important to monitor the wear and then you can shift it up um, and adjust it so that it gets higher as the forks wear, but eventually they'll need to be replaced. The other thing to inspect is where those forks impact the top deck of the conveyor, it'll start to wear that and eventually you may need to fill it with a little bit of a weld. So it's also important that we, with the call-up mat removed, that we're inspecting and lubricating the bearings for the call-up forks. So this is the bearing right here, and there's one on either side of the fork, and each one has a grease zerk attached. So that, that lubrication needs to happen at least on a monthly basis. We also need to inspect the call-up cylinder on a regular basis. The shaft of the cylinder right here should be lubricated on a weekly basis by spraying fluid film on the shaft while the cylinder is extended. So this is the exit side of the conveyor, the drive section of the conveyor. This is the same whether it be the XR1000 or the RG440 conveyor. This is an electric drive system, so we need to inspect several things here on a regular basis. First of all, this is an electric motor in a wet environment. So we need to inspect for, uh, we need to inspect to make sure that the electrical connections are tight, that there's no water, that we're not rusting out too badly here. Uh, we also need to inspect the uh, gearbox and the Heco drive. Uh, the Heco drive has oil inside of it. With an electric drive, we need to check that on a monthly basis and make sure that we, our level our oil level is, uh, is full. Uh, it's a fully synthetic oil that's added in there and it could be changed out on a yearly basis. So then we also have uh, the a visual inspection on the safety door and the safety mat. Now this is the XR1000 right here. The RG440 has a little bit different configuration here, but it's important to lubricate the bearings to inspect the uh, safety door, make sure there's not any cracks or broken welds, inspect the stops, make sure the stops haven't worn through and that the, the system is intact. It's also really important to make sure that your 
exit safety plate, which that's this on top of the conveyor. Make sure that's in place and uh, sound. It's also really important to inspect the exit side of the conveyor on the sprocket. Now, this is the same sprocket used for both the RG440 and XR1000 conveyors. And this, again, is a wear point, so it needs to be inspected. So uh, you want to make sure that the tooth right here uh, doesn't wear down too far. And as it wears, it'll kind of create, this is a, an older sprocket right here, so you can see that the chain wears off this side of the, of the tooth. And so that, it can actually be turned to extend the life on it, but it does, when it starts to flatten out like that on both sides, it's time to replace the sprocket. Uh, the other thing to inspect is the rotary encoder disc. On the back side of this, there are magnets that need to be cleaned off with a towel on a regular basis. And then also inspect your uh, reed switch, which is what reads the magnets on the rotary encoder disc. Be diligent inspecting and maintaining the conveyor. It's the most important piece of equipment in the car wash. Thank you for joining us at McNeil Tech, the wash experience.